And Bill, good morning to you. I says because of sanctuary policies here in Massachusetts, illegal aliens charged with heinous crimes are essentially able to roam the streets after release without any notice. And we were with ICE as they took down four alleged child rapists and an MS-13 gang member all in a single morning. Any questions, you can talk to your team leaders. It's the pre-dawn hours in Boston. Kid has a real violent history. And this elite team of ICE deportation officers is briefing on their target list for the day. Illegal aliens charged with egregious crimes. All the targets today, every single one of them is an aggravated felony here in the Commonwealth. So these are the, really the cases that are the worst of the worst here in Massachusetts. ICE quickly takes down its first target, an illegal alien from Guatemala charged with aggravated child rape. Minutes later, ICE arrests a Colombian national charged with the rape of a child above age 14. I don't have enough officers or resources to tackle every one of these public safety threats. Are we going after the child rapist today or are we going to go after that two times deported fentanyl dealer? Because we can't get both. ICE's next arrest, a combative MS-13 gang member from El Salvador charged with a slew of violent crimes. <laughs> Officers then arrested this Brazilian man charged with five counts of aggravated rape of a child. How are you guys not notified about a child rapist being released? Unfortunately, in Massachusetts, that's how it is with most of these sanctuary jurisdictions. A short time later, ICE took down their final target, a Brazilian gang member also charged with child rape. Just this morning today, four accused child rapists and one MS-13 gang member. Those are the kind of people you're going after. That, that's every day up here in, in Boston. If those are the public safety threats that we really want to get off the street. It was a great day for the teams. That's five public safety threats that are in the community. Going to go ahead and victimize anyone else. And I says all of those arrests you just saw happen because local authorities ignored their detainer request to keep these guys in custody due to sanctuary policies. I says all of those suspects will remain in federal custody until their local charges are resolved. Then ICE will seek to deport every single one of them.